Noel Delivery Exercise. Follow along this portion of the video to prepare Noel for an operative vaginal delivery scenario. Additional information about this scenario is found in the Mohs Scenario Handbook. To begin, power on Noel and load the Mohs Standard Curriculum Profile. On the virtual monitor computer, click the GoMord Monitors icon to open the Vital Sign software. Remove the tummy cover and lubricate the birthing canal as shown. To prepare the fetus for delivery, first install the soft head cover to ensure a tight vacuum seal when an extractor device is used. Connect the umbilical cord and placenta and then lubricate the head and shoulders. Fasten the placenta to the Velcro adhesive located on the uterus wall. Remember to always reapply lubrication prior to every delivery exercise. To connect the fetus, first line up the birthing arm connectors and the ports on bottom of the fetus as seen here. Once connected, the locking mechanism will actuate and secure the fetus onto the arm. Manually rotate the fetus to face the LOP, ROP, ROA, or LOA delivery position as the starting point. For this example, the fetus will be set to LOA, or left occipito-anterior position. On the GoMart UI software, click on the Quick Launch tab to access the pre-programmed Mohs labor scenarios. On the initial position icon, select the option that corresponds with the fetus position inside Noel. If you are following along, select LOA. Noel is now ready for delivery. To start the delivery process, click the Operative Vaginal Delivery Scenario button. The GoMart UI software will automatically switch to the Labor tab, load the Operative Vaginal Delivery Scenario, and initialize the delivery mechanism. The fetus will begin to descend as indicated by the descent curve and the vertical progress bar. The instructor can monitor the mother and fetal vital signs using the status panel located on the left. The vital signs information is also displayed on the GoMart monitor's computer screen for the care provider to view. During the delivery, cervix dilation can be evaluated by a standard vaginal examination. Near the end of the delivery, the care provider may assist the fetal head and shoulders through the vulva using forceps or a vacuum device. The pull force applied to the fetus is displayed in real time on the instructor's screen. The fetus will automatically unlock when the vertical progress bar reaches stage 3 of the delivery process. The unlock process is indicated by the releasing status icon. Once the fetus is delivered, click the reset button to retract the birthing mechanism back to the starting position. Once the birthing mechanism is fully retracted, retrieve the placenta and check for retained cotyledons.